Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be a how to find a leak, or at least that's what I call it, when you cannot color fill something and it leaks out everywhere. You have a leak. And if you've noticed, I've drawn a box around my item that I suspected I might have a leak, because if I didn't, it would fill up the whole page with anything and take a lot of time. So the best way I've always found, and I have made a video kind of like this, but I, I was going to find this leak for this person, and I thought I'll just make a video. Uh, this is just a piece of clip art, they, and they'd already traced it and sent it to me like this, but they can't color fill it. So I've broken it apart, and just so I can get the outline of the dog, or coyote, or wolf, or whatever it is, but you can see the leak is in the border. The best way I've always found is start drawing some lines and then color fill your lines. And so far we don't have a leak. Now I always like to back up just so we won't have that color fill in our way later and just draw some more lines. And I have not found this leak yet. I was just going to start doing this. So our leak is in this quadrant. Uh, and, and you need to find the leak. So now we're going to go here. We're going to break the quadrant in half. Now we know the leak's in that top part of the quadrant. Uh, it doesn't take you very long. And if I wasn't having to talk and do the video, I probably would have already found it. And you'll understand in a second why. So we, now we know it's in this top part. Uh, we could probably start looking for it, but we'll just define it a little bit more. And this is why I like to back up. So I don't want to back up all that. Um, color fill. So we know it's in this quadrant. Um, let me draw another straight line to find out exactly where it is. Okay, we know it's, I grabbed the wrong tool. We know it's in that quadrant. We know it's not in our straight line, so it's got to be in this line right here. Now we could go a little bit further detail and draw one more line. See, well, now we know it's in the top part of that, that quadrant. It's got to be right there. So let's back up. And right off the bat, I don't see anything. But it kind of looks funny right there, and that's probably it. So get your shape tool and look at your nodes. And then just kind of start deleting nodes you don't need. And uh, right there kind of looks funny. Let's see if that's fixed it. Or maybe it's even right here. And if you hit your shape tool, see there's like three nodes there that don't need to be there. Let's see if that didn't do it. We fixed it. So it was just two nodes evidently on top of each other or whatever. So then you can go and just grab your outline of your dog and put him back delete these lines, and then do your final test of filling in the Cody. And, and there we go. It works really good. Now, one thing she also, or they also mentioned that they were going to cut this out, the whole shape. So if you cut this out right now, it's going to cut out the entire wolf. Let's take away our box. Let's grab our wolf. And it says it has no outline because of the fact that we've got uh, all these. Uh, but this is a hairline. So this will cut out. So what I would do is take this hairline and move it over to the left. Take all your other hairlines that make up the dog. And you don't really need them anymore. Because you've got the shape of the dog. And it's pretty crisp and clear. You don't need those entire inner parts, let's just delete them. Then you could put it back and this will cut out the outside and engrave the inside. Now, just for grins, I would contour this outside line, go up to effects, contour, contour to the outside, oh, let's say 0 0.02, let's just see what that looks like, hit apply, Go up to a range, break that contour apart, grab your black and move it over. And now you're going to cut that dog out. 
I'm going to center the file with both hairline, but you're going to have a little bit of wood left on your engraving. Anyway, that's how to find a leak in your lines or a break in your lines. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.